Now, once I get that uh, transmission put back in place, I got to put some more fluid in it because I lost a lot of fluid on the floor. Probably about, oh, three quarts maybe. So, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, that's all I like, putting that back in. But everything else is done except for the transmission. Uh, that ain't no big deal. It's just I don't have a lot of room under there. It's sitting on the ground. I've got one jack stand under it to hold one side of it up. But, I mean, I'm a one-person man here. I can only do so much at a time by myself. I don't have all the right equipment. Uh, make a long story short. So, um... Uh, I've got to get I got to get the truck transmission in tomorrow, which is Monday, which is no rain in sight. Um, probably 56 degrees. I got to get this transmission in tomorrow because I've got a job that I've got to go do over in Memphis, Tennessee, and stuff that I've got to do is going to involved in my trailer. So I'm going to be a busy person this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I've got to have this truck running by then. So. Other than that, that's about all that there is on the transmission job. So, um, it has quit raining. It's really nice out here. I think it's supposed to be in 55 degrees today. And that's probably about what it is out here now. So, um, well, it stopped raining. Does that mean the river went down? No, the river is still up, still cresting up, not down. Um, we've still got more rain coming all through the week, so I think the next chance, rain chances will be Thursday or Friday towards the end of the week. You would think that that made the water go down some, but it really don't, it don't, it really don't make it go down none, so, um, so, but yeah, this has been a good old truck, you know, like I said, the slate, slate cylinder is leaking in it real bad and causing it to leak out and the brake fluid that you have to put in it uh yes brake fluid in the slate cylinder um that's what it called for um it just kept leaking it out leaking it out in winter time it was really bad in the winter time because it's like it's, everything's real cold the seals and stuff wants to freeze up stick so replace them get them out of the way so everything's new up underneath this truck now so once I get this transmission back in, I shouldn't have to pull it back out for a long time. Um, the dry shaft, I need to put a U-joint in. The On the back side of the dry shaft that goes into the rear end part, I need to get a U-joint put on it. But I don't know if I do that this time or if I wait until I get some money built up a little bit and... Then I go get one. They're not for five, six dollars. I just go ahead and get one, put one in it. Depending on how much time I've got after I get done messing with this transmission. Um, it's an aggravating job, but hey, you can do it by yourself. Um, out of overall, I had a few mechanics look at it. It was going to charge me fifteen hundred dollars. Well, the clutch and press plate, slate cylinder, and all that didn't even cost me $200. I got it off of uh, Rock Auto, and uh, they're real good people to order from. I have no issues with them. Uh, not yet, anyway. Uh, at the time, I didn't have the time to do the job myself, but now I've got a little bit of time. Now that I've got to have it for the weekend, i got to get it done before this weekend. So, I got to hurry up, get out here tomorrow and finish it. So, um, I might try to work on it a little bit more this evening. Piddle with it, try to get the transmission up to the uh, proper place it needs to be. That way, all I got to do in the morning is kind of come out here and just kind of slide it into place. Uh, it's not a bad job. Um thing is you can get hurt real easy if you ain't careful you can really get hurt so i gotta answer this call i'll be right back with y'all